Some people love peanut butter. Some people love chocolate. But the taste they make when you put them together, it's a delicious taste all its own. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Yes. Reese's, please. Me too. Thanks. Rich milk chocolate and creamy peanut butter. You get two great tastes in one candy bar. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The story of Soft Batch. The cookies so soft, they taste like they're right from the oven. You know, Mom, some people call our Soft Batch cookies homemade. They're elf-made. Just because we elves make Soft Batch cookies soft and chewy, like cookies right from the oven, in eight yummy flavors, there's no need to call them homemade. I'm sure folks meant it as a compliment. Keebler Soft Batch Cookies. Oatmeal raisins, sugar, peanut butter, and chocolate chip. So soft, they taste like they're right from the oven. Oh, well, let's see what Grimondo has cooked for lunch today. Uh, voila, filet of sole. Uh, uh, how about a nice uh, club sandwich? Uh, what do kids like at noon? When eat Ralph spaghetti, you can eat with a spoon. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. And spaghettios are more than just delicious, they're nutritious. Uh oh, spaghettios. When you've got the Ring Raiders ready for action and the Battle Blasters trapped on, you've got a hot fighting machine in your hands. Ring Raiders, the in your hands. You can collect them all and kiss the skulls goodbye. Nice work, Ring Raiders. Ring Raiders. Batteries not included. Squadrons of four and blasters sold differently. This ought to be a breeze. There's nothing here that can compete with Wildcat. Just keep telling yourself that, Clutch. Maybe you'll actually convince yourself. Vanessa Warfield, they must be getting pretty desperate for contestants to let you and that bucket of bolts enter the derby. Hawks, by the end of this race, you're gonna wish you never heard of Memphis. <laughs> I just want to take one last look at these new brake drums, Ken. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What'd you say, Kenny? I didn't hear... Huh? Ah! See you on the racetrack, Hawks. You bet you will, Bruno. Whoa! survive the rat 
of Meta. But I want Clutch Hawk. Where is that coward? Adios, amigo. Mine! He's all mine! Hold it, Mad Dog. Hawk says my meat. Who says? Do you really want to challenge me, Bruno? Think about it. Perhaps it is better we join forces. I thought you'd see it that way. Now slow down that dump truck he's driving. Magnabeam, on! Huh? What's going on here? I'm not moving! All right, Vanessa, he's all... You fool! Now look what you've done! That jolt jammed my magna beam! Sorry to hear that, Bruno. Don't worry, you pretty little head, Hawks. Stinger, go to armor tank mode! Take care of Clutch Hawks. Phew. Wildcat can't take another slam like that. Now I've got Hawks. It'll all be over in a second. Wildcat, convert to attack mode. Come and get it, Warfield. Manta, go to jet mode. Something's about to come between us, Vanessa. What the? Mm. I've got to neutralize Stinger's attack. Can't shoot if there's nothing to shoot at. Now I'm ready. Mask on. No. Nice going, Vanessa. Look what you've done to Stinger. Take it easy, Mad Dog. We'll get Stinger repaired. Which is more than I can say for Clutch Hawk. Take your best shot, Warfield. Concrete cannon, fire! That'll be the day, Hawks. Whip on! You won't mind if I return your present, Hawks. Mm -hmm. You can do better than that, Vanessa. Here, I'll show you how. Huh? Now, little cockroach, prepare to feel the anger of Bulldog. What's that? I don't know who's driving that rig, but I like his style. He's closing in. Cut me off! Ah! One less cockroach for Boris the Tsar Pushkin to worry about. Who's next? Boris! 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 Give them something to cheer about. He may 
may be big, but big means slow in my book. What? What's he doing? Defeated. No need to expose Manza to a vehicle I'm unfamiliar with. Nice race, Clutch. Better luck next time. Thanks, Dave. Yes, there is something you want. I don't like the idea of losing a race, but you fought fair. You deserve to win. Congratulations. Boris Bushkin doesn't shake hands with losers. Did good job today, Bulldog. Make Boris very proud. You should be proud. That's some rig you've got there. Boris needs no woman to offer praise. Maybe not. On the other hand, maybe you're not as tough as you seem. Clutch Hawks was saying you got him with a lucky shot. Lucky? The Tsar needs no luck. Okay, okay, Tsar. Maybe you don't. How'd you like the chance to finish off Clutch Hawks and Wildcat for good? For good? That's right, Cossack. Tonight, on a lonely road, my friends and I are going to set up a permanent detour for Hawks. I thought you might be interested in joining us. What is interesting? Clutch. Don't worry, sweetheart. It's only one battle in the war of life. Besides, it's nice to see you, Gloria. It's always nice to see you again, Clutch. Well, I'll see you soon at Mask Headquarters, Gloria. Congratulations to all the drivers in today's fantastic demolition derby at the arena. But particularly to Boris the Tsar Bushkin, a newcomer who seems destined for greatness. Yeah, mister, I gotta agree with you on that one. Right, Lester, take it easy. But he's coming, and it's time. Hey, who's this guy? This guy is Boris Bushkin, the czar to you. This is the kind of slime you call friend. Just a second, Ruski. No one calls Lester Sludge slime. How about no good slime, then? What? Take it easy, both of you. Typical men. You let your emotions be controlled by muscle rather than brain. Since this toad has neither, what is he doing here? Toad? All right, that's it. Hawks is gonna be here any second. That's right. Take your positions. Big shot, you don't even have a mask. Unlike you, lizard. My face isn't so hideous that it needs to be hidden. Ah! It's Iguana! 
Demolition Derby Part 2 is about to begin. Mask on! Iguana convert! Come on, Hawks! Let's see you try to stop me! <laughs> you got it! This fire! I'm the game's for keeps, Hawks. I have a feeling I better convert this baby. That's right, dodge my fire. Well, he can't keep it up forever. We'll see how you hold up against an airborne manta. Lester, keep him busy down there. Come on, lizard, let's see what you're made of. You really want to know what I'm made of, Hawks? Sludge! Fire! Concrete cannons, fire! How disgusting! Just what I'd expect from Venom! Not this time, Hawks! Whip off! Here's mud in your eye! Mud slinger on! <laughs> Can't see! That's it, Lester. We've got him where we want him now. This wildcat is blind as a bat. Time to introduce him to our new friend. Prepare to feel the power of bulldogs. Ram him! Crush him! <laughs> You should have quit while you were ahead, Pushkin. Mask on! So much for your big shot friend, Vanessa. I don't know why you bothered with that guy when you've got me around. A little less talk and a little more action, Lester. Right! One Swiss cheese mask member coming up! Your aim's a little high, Lester. That's all right, Hawk. You can't duck my shredder blade. <laughs> Say goodbye, Hawk. <sighs> I wish you hadn't done that, Vanessa. Really, I do. Be quiet, Lester. You've been nothing but trouble on this whole mission. I've been nothing but trouble. You mangled my shredder blade. And from what Bruno tells me, you did a pretty good job on Stinger, too. Okay, that's it. You're out of this one. Good. I was getting hungry anyway. I wonder if there's a decent truck around. <laughs> Surely you don't count Boris Pushkin out of this. It's about time, Star. I thought you were asleep down there. Poor Clutch. You just don't know which way to turn, do you? Here it comes, Hawks. You're right about that, Vanessa. Courtesy of Mask's newest member. Huh? Now to give Vanessa a little fireworks display. <laughs> Mask on. Comrade, fire. What's this? Mask of all the treachery. Well, we did learn a few tricks from you and Miles. I was wondering what was taking you so long, Boris. Is all the Russian saying, better late than never. I'll buy that. But I won't. What a shame you had to choose the wrong side to fight on, Bushkin. It's a rare day when I can put two mask agents out of business. Don't count on it, my lovely. You've yet to deal with my Siberian surprise. I can't see anything! That is the object! No problem. I can fly by instrument alone. 
instruments do little good when air is filled with Dressonium Disruptors. Dressonium Disruptors? No, no, these instrument readings can't be right. Now I'll teach this fool a lesson. Didn't expect me to pull out of it, did you, Bushkin? Give Clutch Hawk my regard when you see him. To steal a line, reports of my departure are greatly exaggerated. What? It's impossible. I know I hit Wildcat. I saw it explode. So that's it. I must have hit one of Wildcat's discs. You may have avoided total defeat through trickery, but I promise you both one thing. I won't forget either of you. That's good, Vanessa. We were sort of counting on that. Nice making your acquaintance. Don't worry, Bushkin. You'll be seeing me again. Well, you did pretty good on your first mission. And you were right about them laying a trap for you. Good to have you on our team, Boris. Now, I'll take that handshake for winning. Wait a minute. That demolition derby was strictly a put-on. You don't seriously think your little tow truck could beat Bulldog? <laughs> <laughs> Bossy's house is really deluxe, and I'm ready for a deluxe bath. Now, let's see. Bubble bath, squirt gun, radio. Radio? You don't take a radio near the bathtub, Lester. You don't? Of course not. Electricity and water don't mix. It's not enough that I have to worry about masks. Now my agents are trying to electrocute themselves. Robocop, part man, part robot, all cop. Drop it. Robocop and the Ultra Police, each sold separately. The only cops with rapid repeat cap firing. Evil headhunter on the Skullhawk is cruising for trouble. Robocop and his armored Robo One will chase him down. This will stop you. Oh, yeah. Nothing can stop Robocop. You put Robo One together. Robocop vehicles and figures with Robocaps, each sold separately. Now you can construct what may be the ultimate robot monsters. Robostrux. Each sold separately, batteries not included. Then you can unleash the power of Robostrux. Robostrux. But who could have known these robot monsters would be this incredibly powerful? Robostrux. Only you can build them. Only you can control them. Or can you? Robostrux. Robostrux robot monsters are sold separately and ready to construct. New from Tomei. It's your call. You can enjoy the fresh baked quality from Domino's Pizza or take your chances with the Noid. You can have pizza made to your order or you can count on our famous 30 minute delivery or you can taste the quality from Domino's Pizza. So avoid the Noid. Domino's Pizza delivers. Call now. Who puts the future in your hands? Who gives you robots to command? Who lets you build fighting creatures wilder than a movie feature? 
robotics. You create them, you control them. Who puts the future in your hands? Nobody. And who gives you robots to command? Nobody. R2000 comes with what you see here. Batteries not included. R1000 sold separately from Milton Bradley. I don't like this! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! Where are we? Look out! Fear not, ranger? Barbarian? Magician? Thief? Cavalier? And acrobat? Avenger, the force of evil. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Hold still, Eric. You want to wind up looking like a poodle? Okay, okay. If we just made it through that portal in the Castle of Clouds. Yeah, another chance to get home, gone up in smoke. Come on, guys, it wasn't anybody's fault. Besides, we'll find another portal. Right now, I'd be happy to find a decent barber. Would you hold still? I am. What do you want, rigor mortis? Look out! Here he comes again! Presto! Eric! Get out of there! Oh. Whoa! All right! Yay! Mayday! 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 Starfire One Niner to base! from Earth? I've never seen a plane like that before. Oh, boy. Another chance to get home gone. Yeah, two in one day. I think we just set a record. And we're gonna set another one for chasing a jet plane on foot. Come on! What? I'm not climbing down there. Whoa! Mayday! Mayday! Starfire to base! Does anybody read me? I just had a dog fight with a, a flying dragon! Where am I? W what's going on? Can anybody hear me? I hear you. Surrender your ship to me, now! Base! Base, do you copy? Now I'm under attack by some guy in a dress riding a flying horse? <laughs> I can't believe it! I'm pushing Mach 1 and he's gaining on me! Look on the bright side, guys. At least we won't run into any surprises out here. Not true, Acrobat. Dungeon Master! <laughs> Alas, there are surprises in store here, and not all of them pleasant. Tell us straight for once. Did that jet come through a portal from home or not? Indeed it did, through a portal that holds a terrible danger, not only to you, but also to your homeworld, Earth. What this time, your cheerfulness? No, no, on second thought, don't tell me. I won't have to, Cavalier. Time will tell. Huh? Save it, Eric. He's gone again. Terrific! 
perfect. He splits and leaves us on a cliffhanger for real this time. Huh? Huh? Nice fall, Eric. Huh? Somebody around here's got a lousy sense of humor, and his initials are Dungeon Master. Where do we go now, Hank? Well, Dungeon Master says there's another portal out there, and I say we're gonna find it. Ugh! Who are you? Where am I? What the heck is going on? <gasps> This latest prisoner has a most powerful flying machine, Master. Might not he be the one you seek? No, Shadow Demon. He comes from the wrong time and the wrong country, like the others. I require a warrior from a very specific time, before Dungeon Master's young ones were born. A time when their world was torn by war. Then, and only then, Wait! The Crystal of Kronos is opening the portal again! This Shadow Demon is the proper place and time! But Master! The portal has closed! No matter. My search through the past of their world is ended. Now I shall eliminate those accursed children as if they had never existed. Oh, great! First a jet straight out of Buck Rogers, and now a rattle trap plane from a flying circus. Maybe that portal is defective. Come on, the pilot may be hurt! Oh, finish. Welcome to Wacky Land, Earthling. Where, where, how did I... Did you say... Listen, Mr. Uh... Uh, Müller. Uh, Josef Müller. I'm Diana. Nice to meet you. Uh, listen, Josef. You think you can remember the location of the portal you came through? I am sorry. Uh, portal? You know, the place you came into this world. You couldn't have missed it. A big window in space, like a door between here and Earth. Oh. Uh, yeah? Yeah. That way. Maybe 10 kilometers. All right, come on. Oh. Oh. All right, right, let's move. Well, come on, Joseph. You think we'd leave you behind? We're all going home. Come let's on, go. let's go, let's go. This machine is useless, Master. How can you... You will see, Shadow Demon, in time. In time. That hat of yours is truly amazing, Presto. With its magic, you could feed an entire world. Not with the kind of stuff he gave us for breakfast. What's so bad about crocodile eggs? Oh, nothing. Unless six of the little snappers hatch on your plate. That was some fancy flying, Yosef. Mostly good fortune, Diana. You see, I was hit three times in the battle. Battle? Battle? You mean like in your air show, right? I... I beg your pardon? Air show? Come on, Uni. Wow. You know, the flying circus you work for. Wait till my brother hears how you belly landed that old antique and got away without a scratch. <coughs> old antique? But my plane is quite new, the latest design. You're kidding, right? Nobody makes planes like that anymore. She's right, Yosef. What do you mean? 
anymore. Well, not in 35 or 40 years at least. You okay, Yosef? Something wrong? Wrong? It is wonderful. Go on, go on. I will catch up with you later. What a blessing. A new beginning in a new world. <gasps> you saw... Who... What are you, Yosef? Uh, I, I am a pilot in the Luftwaffe. I mean, I was. Luftwaffe? What's that? You mean, what was that? It hasn't been around since World War II. Yosef's from... Well, he's from... Yes, I am from your past. 1945, to be precise. But I do not wish to be your enemy, only to be free of that horrible war on the tyrant who caused it. You are free now, Yosef. And when we find that portal, you're coming home with us. Yeah, for a personally guided tour of our time, the future. Wait till you see what Earth is like now. Yeah. Wait till you see color TV. Yeah. And rock and roll. Yeah. And smog. Yeah. 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 Have no future. It's danger! Run! tough to put out a fire with whipped cream, presto. Huh? Wait! Maybe we can fight fire with fire! Huh? Get ready! Hang on! Everybody okay? Yeah, I think so. Nothing broken so far. I'm okay. Brother, that was close. Ooh! Hey! Where's Uni? <laughs> there you are! Couldn't you have come up with something a little less dramatic, Hank? Quit complaining, Eric. We're all still alive, aren't we? Not for long, Ranger. If Venger has his way... Dungeon Master! What do you mean? Yeah! What's old Hornhead up to now? Yeah. And why did he take Yosef? Yeah. Venger is using the crystal of Kronos to change the history of Earth. Yeah. Yeah. What? I already took history three times and got a lousy C minus. You mean when we get home, I gotta take it again? No, no, Cavalier. Venger seeks to destroy you by changing your world's past. He can't do that. Can he? He can and will, unless you stop him, and quickly. You have little time, but remember, time can make allies of enemies. Oh, great! Now what do we do? For starters, we go find Venger. We've got to save Yosef, too, Hank. We will, Diana. Let's go! How dare you treat me in this manner? Who are you? 
I am Venger, and you, I thought, were a man. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps you were only a coward and a fool. What? I had planned to send you back to your country as a hero. How? You were one of the great pilots of your world. But your flying machines were slow and crude compared to this one. It bears weapons of which you have never dreamed. With it, you could win your petty war single-handedly. But I have never flown such a craft. I will implant knowledge of its controls in your mind. With it, you will turn the tide of battle. Your country will rule the Earth, and history will be rewritten. An interesting proposition, Herr Venger. And what must I do? You do exactly as I say, and you will address me as Master. The moment is at hand, Shadow Demon. Let us welcome our guests. Is this it, Yosef? Is this the way home? It is, my young friends. But I regret not for you. <gasps> Venger! <laughs> I shall explain. Your friend and I have struck a bargain. What? In exchange for passage back to his own world, he has agreed to help me eliminate you from this one. With that machine, he will tip the scales of battle. His country, not yours, will win your insignificant Second World War. History will change. Your parents will have never met. And none of you will have been born. What? Get away from my sister, you creep! Bobby! Oh! How very amusing. <laughs> Go ahead, Ranger. Fire, if you wish. Let me go! No, Bobby! That's what he wants you to do! Indeed. I want you to do whatever you please, Barbarian. Fight. Scream. Run, if you wish, as fast and as far as you can. In a moment, the portal will open, and even the memory of you will vanish from your world. Yosef, I have kept my bargain. Now keep yours. Don't do it, Yosef! Please! As I expected, you prefer to struggle until the last. Suit yourself. Whoa! When are you gonna learn blocking bolts of magic is my job, Presto? It is over. Look! Hank, blast him! Let him have it! If he goes through that portal, we won't even be history! I can't do it, Eric. Stop! Now what?
jet's gone! Does that mean that Yosef is... Not exactly. Look! <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. Avrida Zane. You have given me freedom. In return, I shall give you your future. He... he went back? I don't get it. Why? To be a hero, as Venger said. But not in the way Venger planned. What do you mean, Dungeon Master? What will happen to Earth? It will be as it is and as it was. Your friend has returned to join the forces fighting for freedom. Your future freedom. Indeed, his courage will help create the world into which you will be and have already been born. Flamestone and Sunstone. Jewels so powerful, Magmar will stop at nothing to possess them. <laughs> and so the nastiest new rock lords, Spearhead and Saberstone, are sent to capture them. Time to polish off a few Jewel Lords. Polish this, Saberstone. Boulder! Rock Lords, powerful, so separately new from Tumbra. <laughs> Rough Riders, Omniforce, you can try to stop them. The new Rough Riders 4x4 Omniforce vehicles, each sold separately, batteries not included. Sturdy four-wheel drive takes them over rough terrain, through tough obstacles. The twin gutter attack truck, NX missile launcher, Invader Command Jeep, N70 assault tank, powerful, and they even do wheelies. The Omniforce vehicles, you can try and stop them. Rough Riders 4x4 Omniforce vehicles, truck, missile launcher, Jeep, and tank, each sold separately from LJN. The Battle of the Sectors continues. Rossfax is no match for the defenses of the ancients. Dargon's armies push the evil Sectors back to a behind. The monster Gnar swallows up Skeeto. Pinsor evens his score with Skulk. But Pinsor doesn't see the giant destructor ball. Is this the end of Dargon's loyal friend? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. Silverhawks, partly metal, partly real, mighty warriors with the powers to protect space from all evil. It's me, Evil Monstar. Figures and attack birds sold separately. Monstar and Sky Shadow attack the Silverhawks. Flashback, prepare for battle. Sky Shadow grabs him and sucks him in, but then Stronghold oh, flies oh. to the rescue. Activate Sniper Jaws. Flashback escapes and the fight rages on. Bombs away. Where'd he go? Ha, gotcha. Not yet. Stronghold and Steel Will. Sky Shadow and I will not be beaten. What a bet. Silverhawks. We used to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaucers. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space, and joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the evil Tyrannos. The dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur! Well, follow them!
yet she hasn't been around lately. But why not? Is she mad at the dinosaurs? Oh, I don't think so. Maybe she's mad at me. Well, you can ask her yourself. Here she comes. Oh boy, oh boy. Sarah, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, I missed you. Don't be mad at me. Why should I be mad at you, Bonehead? You were gone a long time. I thought you didn't like us anymore. Oh, Bonehead, I've been busy, that's all. Real busy. I just stopped in to pick up a couple of things. Busy doing what? My school's participating in the Junior Olympics, and I'm one of the people on the team. Whoa, that's neat. What's an Olympics? It's a special kind of festival, a festival of games. People have been having Olympics for hundreds of years. Hey! Everybody gets together and competes at all kinds of sports. In the old days, if there was a war going on, even the war would stop so that the Olympics could go on. Hmm. If that worked for humans, I wonder if it could work for dinosaurs and tyrannos. You mean have your own Olympics? Or Dinolympics. Yes, you could help us set it up, Sarah. And we would invite the Tyrannos to it. Uh, I'm not so sure that's a good idea. Oh, come on, Boney. We have to give them a chance. You come to my school with me and see what kind of things we do. Then you can be Allo's advisor to the Dinolympics. Whoa, hooray! We're gonna go to school. We're gonna have a Dinolympics. And meanwhile, I'll do my part. I wonder what Rex will say. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. You say you want us to put aside our weapons and show up at Lava Dome to play games with you? Allo, you must have some scales loose. Rex, I'm perfectly serious. It's an Earth tradition. Tradition? It's obviously a trick to get us to lower our guard against you cursed dinosaurs. But Rex... You bore me, Allo. Try something more original next time. You sure told him, Bossasaurus. Of course I told him, tail for brains. Don't interrupt me while I'm thinking. This friendly call was obviously a ploy to distract us from whatever Allo's really up to. He said something about an Earth tradition. Yes. This means those wretched secret scouts are involved somehow. Brachio, you and Terrible Dactyl, find out who was at Lava Dome today, and then watch them. Yeah, Bossasaurus. Are you sure it's all right for me to be here? As long as you stay out of sight. Not many kids are in practicing this late after school anyway. What kind of things are you practicing? Gymnastics. That's my sport. Watch. Uh, there. How about that? Not bad for a beginner. Giselle! But you're gonna have to do a lot better than that if you're gonna beat me in the Junior Olympics. I might have a surprise or two in store for you, Giselle. Oh, yeah? Well, honey, you're gonna need to get some help from somewhere if you're gonna beat this. <laughs> See you at the game, Sarah. Is everything all right? Nothing's all right when Giselle Freeman's around. She wasn't very nice. That's her specialty. And the problem is, she's real good. I don't know if I can beat her. And I really want to beat her. She's so stuck up. You're gonna need to get some help from somewhere. Now there's a thought. My secret scout ring enhances my athletic abilities all the rest of the time. That's a great idea. But are the other kids' rings as good as yours? Bonehead, they don't have rings. As 
especially Giselle doesn't have one. But that's not right. You'd have an advantage. And in Dino Scouts, they told us that a dino must always play fair. But maybe there are different rules for humans. No, but... Oh, Bonehead, you don't understand. If I don't win, Giselle will make my life miserable for years. And if you do win, you'll make her life miserable instead? I've got to think of something. I can see people and a lot of weird equipment. And flags, and a marching band, and brachio, and terrible dactyl. What? Where? Over behind that building. I don't know what they're up to here, but I bet it's not good. I'm going to find out what they're up to. But isn't it almost time for your part of the games? Yeah, don't worry. I'll be on time. Ready for your farewell performance, Sarah? Sure, Giselle. And you have a nice day, too. Oh, I will. I will. Now we'll find out what these humans are up to out here. What's this for? I don't know. Looks like sand to me. I get it. They're trying to figure out how Earth sports work. Allo must have called to invite the Tyrannos to the Dine Olympics. And they're trying to figure out ways to cheat. Secret Scouts Ring, power up! <laughs> I still don't understand it. Yes. How do you use sand as a weapon? Like this! <laughs> Why, you hunty little mammal pup, get you for that? Gotta catch me first, slow polka tops. <laughs> Little mammal, but there are some things I'm pretty good at. I wish I left my stomach hurt. Are you uh, Sarah Spencer? Uh, yes. You just forfeited your first heat in the gymnastics competition. We were told you weren't here. But I gotta learn to take things seriously, Spencer. Now, if you miss another one, you'll be disqualified from the Junior Olympics. <laughs> you shouldn't run away just because you can't beat me, Sarah, baby. <laughs> Sarah, that girl got you in trouble. I saw it. You saw right, Bonehead. She tried to get me disqualified. She is not nice. If I miss one more heat, I'm out. But what about the Tyrannos? Oh, I cooled them out pretty good. I don't think they'll bother us much more. Look, I'm on in a minute. Wish me luck. Break a horn! Uh, right. Next competitor, Sarah Spencer. If only I could use my ring. Show the little metal not to mess with 
Five two. Five five. Just not good enough, huh, Sarah? Might as well give up now. And Sarah Spencer takes second place behind Giselle Freeman. Oh. I'm sorry, Sarah. Terrible Bechtel isn't so nice either. Never mind. You ought to get back to Lava Dome. Your own Dine Olympics will be getting started soon. I'd rather stay with you. Oh, Bonehead, it's too dangerous for you here. You go ahead. This is going to work, Al. Bone balding was my favorite sport back at Jurassic U. Right next to tail wrestling. Watch. Wow. <clears throat> well, okay. Thunder. Are you all right? <laughs> Not for this sport, no. Okay, we're ready to start the games. First comes bone tossing. Hey. This is Tail wrestling. Go! Long bone archery, bone vaulting, and the long tarpet jump. And for me, of course, stunt flying. Hey, what about me? I didn't forget you, bonehead. You're in the dinathlon. That's nice. But I miss the secret scouts. We really need more people here. Heranos. After all, Alan, to show you how real dinosaurs play. We invited you, Rex. You're welcome. We'll see how welcome we are after we beat you. Winning isn't everything, Rex. Go! <laughs> from a flying leather jacket. Now we'll see what you're made of, Brachio. Better stuff than you are. Let's see him beat this. Your way, they brought a thunder. I love the way you fall down. Uh, uh, this is awful. I gotta get some help. Next entry, Sarah Spencer. Oh, no. Final competition. Please enter the field. But I can't do anything. And besides, if I miss this heat, they'll disqualify me. Oh, what does that matter? Think you're pretty hot, 
Don't you, Wang Kylo? Hotter than you. How about that? Boy, I can't leave this place for a minute. Secret Scout's ring, power. <laughs> saucers either, it looks like. Curses! Best two out of three, Genghis Rex? Some other time, when we have the advantage. <laughs> Don't go away, Mad Rex. Just go away. Sarah, what? Sarah, did you win? Did you win? Sure we did. The Tyrannos left. No, I mean your gymnastics thing. Oh, no! They were about to start! They'll disqualify me! Uh. Sometimes I wonder how we ever got along without mammals as our friends. I know. You're just in time. Beat that, Sarah, or get ready to lose. I don't care if I do. I've already won once today. <gasps> Next competitor, Sarah Spencer. <laughs>
he looked at me. He did. He looked at me and he smiled. Jane, you're eating frosted flakes. No. Still like it? Come on, Jane. It's a kid cereal. No. Jane, look. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we're in high school now. I mean, at your age, how's this gonna look? Hey, Jane. Hey, Jane. Hey. Do you know them? No. Get like Frosted Flake cereal, part of this complete breakfast. Bernie built a big bull factor, and he started cranking out the big bull, cranking out the big bull, cranking out the big bull. Bernie, lunchtime! Then he went back to work, cranking out the big bull, cranking out the big bull. Bernie, dinner time! Back to work, cranking out the big bull, cranking out the big Good night, Bernie! Time for the night crew to take over. Cranking up the big balls, cranking up the... The Connects Big Ball Factory. You build it yourself. Opening everywhere. Frosted Cheerios! Never seen anything like this. Such a sweet and crunchy part of this complete breakfast, this box never closes. Stupendous! There's no need to fear. Frosted Cheerios is here. Now those awesome little O's have been frosted the whole way around for a delicious, crunchy, sweet taste everyone's into. Well, duh, of course it's delicious. Frosted Cheerios taste so good, this box never closes. This is way too good for adults. You're mine. Simon. Let's do it. The fun is in the challenge, Simon. Take the Simon Challenge, Simon. The Simon Challenge. You gotta repeat the patterns of colored lights and sounds. The longer you play, the more challenging the pattern gets. The winner's the one who keeps it going the longest. If you miss, you get the razz. And your history. Oh, yeah! The fun is in the challenge, Simon. Take the Simon Challenge, Simon. 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 Cops. Central organization of police specialists. Fighting crime in a future time. Protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks. Case of the Sinister Spa. Cops file 89724. The grand opening of the new Sky High Spa was the first in Big Boss's sinister plan to take over the mayor's office, to rob Empire City blind, and destroy the cops once and for all. Here's how the caper came down. Mayor Davis, what brings you to the grand opening of the Sky High Health Spa? Why, Whitney, uh, I always give my unqualified support to new businesses in Empire City. Uh, besides, they uh, gave me a free membership. <laughs> How's my disguise? Uh, no one will recognize you, Ms. Demeanor. Not even your first new member, Mayor Davis. Welcome to the Sky High Spa, Mayor. I'm your personal trainer. Ready for your first workout? Oh, I certainly am, Madam. Uh, just show me to the... Uh... Ah! This is our number one fat fighter, the Flab-O-Matic. Flabomatic? Well, why do you call it that? Because, my flabby friend, it automatically slims down fatheads like you. 
Start with some stretches. Hey, oh, wait a minute. Stop that! No pain, no gain. Now give me a quick 20 miles. Yay! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, slow down. Get it out. Stop! Stop? Why, of course. How about a trip to Sky High Spa's special steam room, Mayor? Oh, I can't wait. Oh, oh pretty pushy trainers in this place. Hey! Where'd everybody go? One hypnotizing steam treatment coming up. <sighs> what is this? Oh, what's going on? You are sure this is going to hypnotize him, Ms. Demainer? He'll be completely under your control, Big Boss. Watch. I await your command. Hey, great! Tell him to give us the keys to the city! Or the keys to his car! Or the keys on his piano! I forgot the keys, you overgrown oaf! What I want is the city's payroll! And you and Mayor Davis are gonna get it for me! Me and the mayor? How? We give the mayor his instructions, you'll see how. I await your command. I have called this press conference to present to you Empire City's new deputy mayor, my good friend, Mr. Berserko. Hiya, citizens! Who's cooking what? Mayor Davis, that man's a crook. You can't make him deputy mayor. Tell him the good news, pal! I have given Mr. Berserko a full pardon for all past misunderstandings. You hear that, copper? You can't touch me, and I'm your boss now! Do you know anything about this? No, I don't. But the mayor's been acting strange ever since his visit to the Sky High Spa this morning. The Sky High Spa? That new place? Greetings, friends, robots, and assorted suckers! As your new deputy mayor, I'll be making some big changes in the city hall joint. Oh no, you've got to stop him, Bulletproof! Don't worry, Whitney, the cops are on the case. From now on... You can see the problem we're faced with. Sounds like somebody hit the mayor over the head at that spa and knocked a screw loose. <laughs> Mirage, I want you and Mainframe to get inside that spa and find out what's going on. Come on, Mainframe. A little exercise won't kill you. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Look, big boss. Two cops have come into the spa. Keep them busy, Ms. Demeanor. We can't let them find out about our hypnotizing steamer. Welcome to your first workout in the Flabomatic, girls. You two definitely need it. Let's start with a few stretches. I'll eat my sweat socks if that is a misdemeanor in disguise. This is a fine time to figure that out. 
Yeah! Enough scratches, girls. Now let's climb a few miles. <laughs> a few miles. How many is a few miles? Thirty should do it. See you later. Thirty miles? We'll never make it. We've got you, Mirage. Well, who's counting on us? It's Deputy Mayor. You guys want to clean up this town, so here's your chance. From now on, you guys ain't cops no more. You're all street sweepers. No way. Hey, I don't believe it. Ta ta, street sweepers. I'm no street sweeper. I'm a cops officer. I won't do it. I quit first. Now's not the time to talk about quitting, Bullseye. Empire City needs us more than ever. To sweep the streets? Forget it, Chief. I'm getting in the jet copter and flying this coop. Bullseye's got a point, Chief. This doesn't make any sense. You're right. It doesn't. But Berserko is the new deputy mayor, and for now, we have to do as he says. At least until Mirage and Mainframe find out what happened to Mayor Davis at the Sky High Spa. You see... any way out of this? Just one! But you'll have to run for both of us. I was afraid you'd say that. Hang in there, Mirage. It's all going to work out. Did you have to say work out? I almost got it! Let's go. We have to find out what happened to Mayor Davis. That's how they got control of the mayor. Hypnotic steam treatments. But why would they want to make that nutcake Berserko deputy mayor? I'll tell you why, girls. Because if Berserko is deputy mayor, we can heist the Empire City payroll. And there's no way you or any of the cops can stop us. Wanna bet? Yo! Let's get out of here. You're not going anywhere, poppers! Like I said, coppers, you're not in shape to stop us this time! In a shocking development today, Mayor Davis gave a full pardon to the notorious Berserko and then appointed him deputy mayor. Like a veteran politician, Berserko spent his day shaking hands and kissing babies. <laughs> and Berserko's first act in office was to demote all the cops to the rank of street sweeper. It's no surprise that one of the city's leading lawmen has already quit the force and is headed out of town. That right, Bullseye? No comment. Berserko's doing a great job. We'll have the city payroll in our pocket by the end of the day. No way, Ms. Demeanor. You'll never get away with it. Oh, yeah? Who's gonna stop us? You cops are all washed up. And speaking of washed up, you two are gonna spend the rest of your days doing laundry. Well, it could be worse. She could make us do windows. What's the big idea? This statue ain't right. I want it big. The biggest statue this town has ever seen. This ain't even close. This statue is only a model. The real one will be a hundred feet tall, as you commanded. A hundred feet tall? Forget that. Make 
it 200 feet tall! As you command. This is one happening looking dude! What's going on here? Hi, Uncle Big Boss! You like my statue? Guess you don't, huh? Berserker, you imbecile! I didn't make you deputy mayor to give speeches, kiss babies, and order statues of yourself! You didn't? Uh, you're supposed to be down at the city depository stealing the city payroll! Oh, yeah! I remember! I gotta get a move on! So long, Unc! Oh, 300 pounds of brainless bulk! He can't be my nephew. He just can't be! How much longer we gotta put up with this, Chief? Until Mirage and Mainframe report in, we can't make a move. Well, they better report soon. The troops are getting restless. I can't just run off and let the other cops down. I'm gonna help Mainframe and Mirage get to the bottom of this thing. Keep at it, girls. 16 tons down and 16 tons to go. Funny lady. She ought to be on TV. Yeah, so we could turn her off. So long, girls. I've gotta go help our new deputy mayor steal the city payroll. Have fun. You know, I'm about ready to throw in the towel. I heard that. Ready when you are. How about now? Before those goons grab us, this is our only... Good work, Mainframe. Thanks. Now let's get out of here. Have a good workout, guys. <laughs> building full of crooks. How are we gonna get down from here? There's your answer. What are you doing here, Bullseye? On that news broadcast, Whitney Morgan said you quit the cops. It was Bulletproof's idea. I didn't really quit. It was the only way we could figure how to keep this helicopter in the air. You gals need a ride? Oh, sure do. We gotta warn Bulletproof. Berserko's planning to rob the city payroll. Let's ride! It's crime fighting time! Now go on, shoot! Go home! I'm the deputy mayor, and I'll take care of the city's payroll! Go on! Take the day off, boys! Lutzon! Come and get it! Good work, Bazarko! Deputy mayor to you, lady! Leave everything to me, and everything is a-okay! Huh! Now get in there and start loading up that payroll! Fourteen million? Fifteen million? Gee! Uncle Big Boss is good! 
gonna be so happy. 60 million. Good afternoon, Mr. Deputy Mayor. What are you guys doing here? Why, we're doing exactly what you told us to do. We're cleaning up the streets. Yeah, and you're the trash we're gonna pick up. Uh-oh, they're on to us. Uh-oh! Run for it, boys! Trying to give us the slip, huh? Said, just cleaning up the street. Two goons, three goons, four. Berserko, misdemeanor, freeze! We're cops and you're under arrest. Oh, um, yeah? Says who? Add a girl, misdemeanor! Keep busy while I run for uh, help! Back off, coppers! Mirage, here, catch! Good idea! Good work, partner. Thanks. Can't go any further. Berserker, you out of shape, buffoon. You blew it again. Does this mean I won't get my statue? I await your command. Hope this works, mainframe. Don't worry, Chief. I'll unhypnotize him. Hey, what happened? Where am I? Great work, Mainframe. The mayor's back to his usual self. Now we can all turn in our brooms and be cops again. The city payroll was saved, and Mayor Davis returned to his office. Ms. Demeanor and the other crooks were sentenced to strenuous exercise inside the city jail. Cops file 89724. The case of the sinister spa. Case closed. Cops. Roll Call, Highway, Mainframe, Long Arm, Bowser and Blitz, Sundown, Hardtop, Mirage, Bullseye, Mace, Barricade, and they call me Bulletproof. These are Empire City's most wanted crooks. Berserko, Rock Crusher, Misdemeanor, Turbo Two-Tone, Dr. Bad Vibes, Nightshade, use caution in apprehending. Cookie jar! <laughs> muscle and blades that'll blow you away 
technically speaking, it'll turn you on. The Lego Technic Collection. Each set sold separately, batteries not included. The following announcement has been paid for by Waifu World Order. When you're in the Waifu World Order, you're in for life. Welcome to Dynatron City, proud symbol of the atomic age. Cooking is safe and easy in a kitchen filled with atomic appliances. And what better way to top off a neutrino nutritious breakfast than with a frosty Proto-Cola, everyone's favorite soft drink. Dad's ready for an exciting day at work. Because in Dynatron City, everyone knows that hard work and a good attitude is what builds a great future. An atomic future. Because atomic power is safe, clean, and inexpensive. The power of the future. The power of Dynatron City. Why does the engine glow like that, Mommy? <laughs> because it's radioactive. Wow! Yes, remember, Timmy, here in Dynatron City, Mr. Atom is our friend. <laughs> hey, looks like I just got that extra hand I've always needed. <laughs> That's great, dear. Yeah, Dad, cool! <laughs> yes, Timmy, cool. Thanks to Mr. Atom, everyone in Dynatron City is happy, and mutation is a way of life. Ah! My new improved mutation causing atomic protocola was supposed to terrify these Dynatron City dolts into leaving. Instead, it's a big hit! <laughs> this is a problem? You could get rich. But not rich enough! I want to rule Dynatron City! This is my city! I was the one who designed it! Me, Dr. Mayhem! Yes, but that was before you became an evil mutant genius. <laughs> Don't sass me, you semi-evolved simian! Remember, it was my atomic protocol syrup that made you what you are. You're lucky I let you live after you dumped the vat of syrup over my factory's atomic generator and mutated it into this useless piece of low-class modular statuary! Now, oh, 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 now, now I am forced to rely on stupid archaic electricity for my next evil plot! A conquering army of robot drone soldiers! <laughs> Wendy? Oh, Mary. Mary Middlefield? Brett, this is Mary. She works for the electric company. What are you doing here? Someone in this plant has been using a whole lot of electricity lately, so the company sent me here to find out why. Horse buckles, more interruptions! Well, I'll take care of them! Go away! I'm a busy man! Now, just a minute, sir. I was hired to deliver that last load of Proto-Cola. Well, I'm done, so I'd like to be paid now. <laughs> Total control is inches from my grasp. Oh, what? Wait, wait a minute, mister! Get lost, sucker! And I am a doctor! Well, Brad, what are you going to do? Well, I'm gonna go in there and kick some butt. Oh, yeah! Good idea! How about it, Mary? We'll help! 
Stand back. I'll go through this fence like a buzzsaw. All right, you cheapskate. Where's my money? Looks like no one's here. I, 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 I'm here, but the, I, I really wish I wasn't. It must be some kid who's mutated into a part monkey. A monkey kid. <laughs> I, I, actually, I'm a monkey degenerated into part human. Say, how about getting me out of here? <laughs> Welcome to the free world, you little monkey kid. Freedom? Yeah, right. We won't be free for long if Mayhem comes back. Wow! Look it! Robots! So that's where the electricity was going. Yeah. Well, well that's why Mayhem didn't pay, you see. <laughs> He's planning to use these robots to conquer Dynatron City, so he figured why bother. Quick! Let's get out of here! No! We've got to stop it! It's our duty as citizens. We'll inform the proper authorities! There'll be none of that. From now on, the only proper authority in Dynatron City is me! Get them! You won't get away with this, you melon-headed megalomaniac! Truth, justice, and Dynatron City will prevail! That only happens in comic books, fool. Now, chow, baby, I am off to victory. Dynatron City will be mine! <laughs> I love my life. It's no use. Get break free. Ugh. They even chained my toolbox. If only I had an electric cutting torch. <laughs> Eesh, I could use a banana right now. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Looks like these chains were designed for humans, but not monkeys. <laughs> yes, bananas, here I come. Wait, rescue us first, please. In a minute, in a minute, all right already. Yeesh. <laughs> I hope this works. <sighs> oh, yes, yay, he made it. <laughs> <laughs> Now or never. I guess only mutant superheroes can stop mayhem now. <clears throat> Time to give that atomic syrup the special <laughs> Proto Cola Mutant Fizz. Shit! 
headstrong. <laughs> and I'll call you a yeah, yeah, radium dog. I may be a toolbox, but I know a prison when I see one, and I'm getting out. Oh, great. What is this, Halloween? Dynatron City has fallen. My rule is complete. The city that I created is a city I now rule. Better order a padded seat for your throne, Mayhem. What? Because we're about to turn your rule into drool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting... Uh, presenting... Oh, that's good. Presenting the Defenders of Danatron City. Where did you come from? We're the guys and gals you left chained in the tank. But now we're mutant superheroes come to defeat you. You've lost your heads. Glad you mentioned it, Mayhem! Yeah! Top that, Buzzard Girl! Just watch me. City. My robot army is devastated. Time for plan B. <laughs> Run away! I love this city. Hooray for Dynatron City. I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, excuse yes. me, folks. Yay. We win. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah! I'm still out there. Curses! My robot smushed, and all I have left is a useless piece of contemporary art. Oh! 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 What's this? An on-off switch, of course. Even evil geniuses sometimes overlook the obvious. Atom M, the floating head at your service, Master. Full inanimate mutagens charged. How may I serve you? Yes! Yes! Uh, guys, uh, excuse me, listen, we're really gonna need a good plan of action here. 
Ugh, thinking is boring. Let's just smash down the factory, blow up everything in sight, and pound Mayhem's head into a shattered bag of skull fragments. What do you think? I think that's my kind of plan. Let's go! No! Let's go! No, 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 We're bringing you to justice. Are you gonna come quietly, or should we humiliate you in front of your robots first? You're about to learn what humiliation really means, defenders. Get down, Ahmed! All right, now everybody listen. I've got a plan. Ah, don't sweat it, monkey kid. This is how I do my handwork. Somebody bagged my face! Whoa! Huh! You know Max for electric speed? So, you think you're pretty sparky, huh? Well, a little insulation ought to give you some resistance! Foam. I'm grounded. Oh, this is easy. If there's one thing I understand, it's machinery. The magnet, Adamant. Hey there, monkey kid. Well, you said a while back uh, something about a plan. Oh yeah. Um. Never mind. Oh please, Dallas. Come on. Come on. Oh, all right. Then listen up, you boneheads. Now hear this. Just because you're mutant superheroes doesn't mean you can just joke around and show off your powers. We've got to become a team, or we're all dead! All right, all right, we're a team! Good, terrific, super. Now, the first thing we do as a team is... We're all to the left, now! <laughs> now let's do some teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> that floating head is what's controlling it. You distract the building while I stop that head. I can't believe I'm doing this. No! Blow your stack! You got it, monkey kid! Stop that! <laughs> you filthy animal! Get off my creation! Stop it! Stop it this instant! Looks like this calls for it! My patented stretch retractable door alloy factory tripper! Can you give me a hand, Jack? Two box 
That's good, buddy. I'll do more than that. <laughs> Gee, it worked in Star Wars. Hang on, Jet and Toolbox. You need a woman's touch here. <laughs> Switch! Uh, got it! Uh, now! My glorious creation! Guess old Dr. Mayhem is all washed up. Oh, this is ripping. We saved Dynatron City. It was working as a team that did it. Yeah, but there may be other dangers. <laughs> other villains like Mayhem. Maybe even Mayhem himself. Say, let's make the defenders of Dynatron City a permanent team. With a headquarters and cool vehicles and official decoder rings and fan clubs and everything. Now, that's my kind of sellout! Hey, I think that's a swell idea! And for our team leader, I nominate Monkey Kid! Monkey Kid's what? got the brains! Monkey oh, Brain! Oh, 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 monkey oh, Brain! Oh, 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 monkey oh, Kid! No, I, I, I can't! Yeesh! I don't even know what I'm doing! But that's all part of the great leadership tradition, Monkey Kid! <laughs> 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 you just wait, Dinatron City! Dr. Mayhem is coming back! Play the mutant way today. Bones Justice, Sputer, and Razor Kid challenge the evil KT Slayer. Are you ready for some football? Here's the first play. It's a handoff. Here's Razor's kickoff. It's blocked by Slayer. Yes. Someone's roughing the kicker. Time for your backup head. And Bones is it's back. It's the Bone Cycle. He throws long. Touchdown. Slamming Savage Sports. The Mutant League. It's not wit. New Mutant League sports figures and Bone Cycle each sold separately. They toss the dice and they have to be The only one for me is you Happy to be a Something's gone wrong in the happy-go-lucky world of Nintendo. Introducing Super Smash Brothers, where all your favorite characters go toe-to-toe -to -toe in one four-player star-studded slam fest only on Nintendo 64. Now you're finished! Shredder and his henchman mutagen man with the floating gut have captured two of the turtle's friends, Napoleon Bonafrog, a real horned toad, and Ray Filet, the color mutating mutant. Oh no, they're going to cover them with retro mutagen ooze. Wow, what hit them? Why, it's Panda Con, the turtle samurai buddy. Thought you said they were finished, Shredder. So, I lied. From Playmate. Welcome to 2023. Big businesses now merge with alien nations. An ancient war is being fought under the sea. The president is about to be cloned. An 
and it's your job to try and save the world. So you've got an important decision to make. What are you going to wear to work? From the team who brought you GoldenEye or N64, meet Special Agent Joanna Dark in Perfect Dark, where you'll find out that the only person man enough to handle a job like this is a woman. Perfect Dark, rated M for Mature. Yes, yes, the lady's getting a birthday on the town with two studly heroes. <laughs> and I might add, one living legend. <laughs> now there's a contradiction in terms, bros. <laughs> Grease gullet in a museum. Hello. Ah, the gentle pitter-patter of greasy feet. Check this, bros. It says here it's Shakespeare, almost 400 years old. Well, we know Snickerdoodle Brain's not here to steal a book. Wrong, you ratty rodents. The boss has developed a taste for fine literature. Now now she's half mangled. Yeah, <laughs> get him! Divide and conquer, bros. Hey, how's about a little heavy reading? <laughs> Whoa! Time to take the escalator, Asaurus. Big fella, mammoth, woolly mammoth. Oh, mama. I could have been a shishka mouse. The Shakespeare book, it's gone. Oh, man. Too bad Charlie's waiting for us. Well, we know where to find him. We'll give Ooze Bucket many more returns after we light Charlie's. You've turned into the cutest grease jockey we've ever seen. Happy birthday, sweet Charlene! Yeah! You guys, I'm speechless. And now I'm also deaf in one ear. How you get over it? A book of fairy tales, like, like the one Grandma used to read me. Oh, you guys! I knew she'd like that. Oh, come and kiss me. Oh. Now remember, sweetheart, it's your night on the tent. Anywhere you want. Perhaps the T-Rex tank crush and demolition derby? Oh, oh gosh, I... Well, I, I was kind of thinking oh, of Shakespeare the What about the, the grunt park. and grudge wrestling and spitting contest? Oh, that's what that bitch one girl got it! No, really, Shakespeare... No, I go one better. Always... Major mayhem, mud wrestling, and cow chip toss, you are there, babe. Oh, gotcha. right? Heavy. Let's try it like this. Remember, you guys promised. Hmm, what you talking? Hey. She said it's my choice. So, it's a performance of Shakespeare's The Tempest. Shakespeare? <laughs> but, sweetheart... I even rented you macho mice some evening wear. Oh, man! We're hosed. Oh! 
Our revels now are ended. These, our actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are melted into air. And like the baseless fabric of this vision. <laughs> Less chatter, more explosions! <laughs> the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself. Yea, all which it inherits. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Instinctual territorial imperative, you know. We are such stuff as dreams are made on. And our little life is rounded with a sleep. I... Oh, never mind. Oh, what happened to him? Just as well, I didn't understand a thing he was saying. But that's not the ending for a... Hmm, that's funny. I, I can't remember what play we came to see. Well, that's easy. It was... Uh, uh, well, what was it, anyway? Look at your program, sweetheart. The title's gone. This is beyond weird. Mega mucho weird. I mean, check it out. First old oil pan steals a moldy Shakespeare book, right? And then one of the same guy's plays up and disappears. Coincidence? When barracuda breath's involved, never. Ooh, maybe it's his own cute way of inviting us for a little social call. Yeah, well, let's rip and ride! Is the fine-tuning of the fictionalizer finished, Doctor? You're almost your blue vein vastness. Duh, I still don't get it. We going into a book? Oh, one last time. The fictionalizer machine allows us to enter the make-believe world of books, steal all the land they're in, and ship it back to Plutarch as real land. Which has this tiny little side effect. It destroys the story, making it vanish as though it never existed. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 pity. But such are the small sacrifices one insignificant planet must make for the good of a greater planet, don't you think? Yeah, but I scared of books. Why come we's gotta go? Because my guileless goons ship the land they stole from the Tempest to the planet Pluto instead of Plutarch. They need my personal supervision. And where I go, you both go. Sorry, birthday girl. Muscles required. But it's my party and I can beat a fish if I want to. Oh. Quickly, to the land of the melancholy Dane. The fictionalizer is fully functional, your Eden Eminem. Set it to transport everyone in the room, now. Rose, something is definitely rotten in the state of uh, whatever state we're in. Guys, everyone's gone. Ah, a classic carbunclean contraption if I ever saw one. What? Limburger? Oh my gosh, they're all in Hamlet. I need a schematic. My lord! It comes! My lord! Angels and ministers of grace defend us! Verily. Gotcha. Wait! Looks this ghost not like Charlie? Lo, oh, you weareth hot threads, my lady. Nice tights yourself, my lord. <laughs> well, Forsooth! What's happening, Charlie, ma'am? Where are we? And why are we talking like this? I did examine at that machine in Limburger's office. Bait Butt is stealing the land from Shakespeare's plays. Thou got caught in the ray beam because you're smacketh in the middle of Hamlet. Wow, verily. Indeed. Thou hast actually become the characters of the play, even talking like them. Limburger hath made himself king of Denmark, and Throttle is Hamlet. Tis gnarly. Hey, why didn't I get the lead role? Oh, but dark our woes. When Limburger steals the land, Shakespeare's play shall disappear forever. So good riddance. Shakespeare's boring. I care not a whit. Nor I. <laughs> Mayhap he'll destroy country and western music next. Mayhap he'll next plunder the pages of Headbangers comics. Forsooth, Mama, there's the rub. Such works of true genius must be saved. Brethren, uh, bros, let's rock and revenge this most foul and unnatural plot. <laughs> Oh, what a rogue and pleasant villain am I. 
This proceedeth ever so perfectly. Soon all of Hamlet's Denmark will be in the space holding bin, ready for shipment to Plutarch. <laughs> Your cheese Danishness, I fear the instruments doth indicate that the mice come hither. Hither? Yeah. Yes. The most dangerous mice. For comedy, tragedy. Or just plain tail weapon. Seize them! Let's rock it and riot! To whip tail or not to whip tail? That is the question. What's going on, cuz? Throttle hath become Hamlet, the most indecisive character in Shakespeare. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the stink and stench of cheesy villainy. The burden, then, is mine. Check these moves, you Shakespearean schnooks. <laughs> I must be cruel only to be kind. For suit, the villain is burning. Take that. Zounds, I am overcome. You know it's all about this Shakespeare stuff, Charlie. What do we do? I remember not the ending. Might have been Senior Skip Day. Well done, Laertes. Now. Take down this poison blade and dispatch the prevaricating prince post haste. Huh? Moiterize that mouse! Oh, uh, aye, aye, my liege. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Horatio? I mean, Vinny? <laughs> Hamlet! Whip his tail! No! Yes, maybe. Throttle! Uh, Hamlet! Whosoever thou be, make up thine mind. Ah! The readiness is all, and I'm ready to ride. Have that use now. Now, a touch, I confession it. <laughs> Thou foul and pestilent congregation of vapors. If I canst but remember, Ophelia drowns, the queen is poisoned, Laertes and Hamlet... <gasps> Stop! I remember! Hamlet's a tragedy. Everybody buys the farm in the end. Everybody. Everybody? <laughs> a doctor, I do believe we've sufficiently to spoil this Denmark. On to wider pastures. Good night, sweet Surat. Parting is no sorrow at all. Mm. Thusly, I hit it, the remote it controlleth. No, thou don't. We're coming as well. Hey, what about my curtain calls? Tights now dresses? Pretty what's next, high heel pumps? Wait a minute. We must be in the place Shakespeare wrote about Julius Caesar, set in ancient Rome. And lo, check it out. Mullet Mouth's goons have already been here. Looks it like the seven hills of Rome are down to one sand pile in an anthill. Time to sever those centurions, bros. Hear the Emperor Julius Caesar speak! Seize those traitors to the Republic! Well, if we're in Rome, then that's either the Roman army or a Shriners convention. Since Limburger wants land, it makes sense he'd choose Shakespeare's Rome. The Roman Empire was huge. The Roman army ain't exactly dinky itself, sweetheart. Veni, vidi, vermini. I came, I saw, I ordered you to get those mice. Well, as they say, when in Rome, give us some palace. That's how that happens. Friends, Romans, motor jammers, lend me your ears. Say what? Oh, man! This Caesar is no god. Upon what meat doth our Caesar feed that he has grown so great? Worms, I say! <gasps> our emperor is no god! He's a fish! Oh, carbuncle. Hath we sufficiently mined the Roman Empire? Most of Rome have gone to space. So, get me out of here to Richard III, and this time sendeth those meddlesome mice to some other play. Ah, yes, my Roman Romano. I'll send them to some useless romantic tragedy. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, 
Wherefore art thou? A mouse? Call me but love, and henceforth I never will be a Rodentio. Mm. Oh, call me but a cab and get me out of here. Mm. Give me a break. Romantically doth be my cup of root beer. Vinny and Charlie as Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Tis most foul, bro. Mm. Jealous. <laughs> this yes. sort of thing could bring back a radio. Yeah. <gasps> The radio, that's it. Yeah? What mean you? Carbuncle has been using a remote control to work his fictionalizer. Mayhaps I can strip his parts from Moto's radio and make a remote just like it. Thence I can control whither we go and whither Limburger goes. Mmm, a most dexterous biker babe, this Juliet. There. Now hasten we to get that land back and stop the cheesy tyrant. They're in Richard III. Zones! I got it! What we need to do is get them back into the wrong play at the wrong time. Listen, I've got an idea. Here's... We, oh, that's great. Talking, yeah. we got that's that is pretty good. <laughs> what? What? Surely you just dress up as what? No way! Double, double, toil out of trouble. Wow, babes. <laughs> Carbuncle, why are we here? Hide me back to Richard III. All hail Macbeth, King of Scotland! Me? King of Scotland? That's good, isn't it? Yes, Scotland doth possess vast coal and petroleum resources, thy cheese craftiness. Really? Opportunity doth knock. But what of those ersatz ermine? <laughs> Macbeth shall never vanquished be till Burnham Wood come to Dunsinane. Burnham Wood? A forest? Move? That will never be. And no man of woman born shall harm Macbeth. Now that is good news. Hmm. Methinks we'll spend some serious time here in Bonnie Scotland. If no man or woman born can harm me, I'm unstoppable. Success! I've connected the fictionalizer to all of Shakespeare's plays. And oh, if we doth succeed here in Macbeth, uh, all the land in all the remaining plays will be consumed as well. And the biker mice with them. Well done, dear doctor. <laughs> Art imitating life. How intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> the big fish took it the bait. Ah, Scotland. I think I'll go oppress some peasants. <laughs> Do tell me if Burnham Wood moses our way, will you? <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, my heiny legioness, I uh, look toward that uh, Burnham Wood and me think it that trees did uh, boogie about. What? What is this with the dresses? Kilts, Vincent. They're kilts. Kind of like Scottish culottes. No one better make a woodcut of this. <laughs> Shakespeare never did write a decent woman's role. Here come, laddies! Hey, there's some Scots on the rocks, and me without my swizzle stick. Still gotta get thee past me, you kilted killjoys. No problemo, thou viscous varlet. Oh! Hey, no fares! Beam me up, Scotty! Oh! <laughs> Look, laddies, it's the mess from Loch Ness! Hey! <laughs> Turn, fish face, turn! Though Burnham would come to Dunsinane, I fear thee not. The witches said I would not yield to man of woman born. Are you through? Well, I got a news flash for you, grunion guts. I'm not a man, I'm a mouse. And so was Mom. Oh. <laughs> um, still friends? <laughs> Sorry, Slimeball. We're right in this ending. Lady Charlene, switch the switch. I pray you. Now. First, we slam this sucker into reverse and send all the stolen land back to where it came from. Oh, the 
Bard is back! <laughs> I thought you said Shakespeare was boring. Well, actually, there's lots of action, weapons, and battles and that kind of stuff. Hmm, Shakespeare's cool. Except for all those dresses. Yeah, well, now that we got the controls, how about we condemn Chum Cheeks and company to kilt wearing forever? <laughs> I've got something niftier in mind. Thought I'd share my birthday present with him. And my favorite fairy tale. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're a mouse at heart. Mr. Wolf, please! <laughs> what in the name of Plutarch am I saying? I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> uh, uh, does we live happily ever after now, boys? You mucilaginous moron! Get thee to a goonery! That's all, folks! <laughs> The Warrior, Gus. Superman, Gus. The Maniac, Do you have it? all champions, all perfect scores. Do you have it? Off the aerial bridge, on the track, in the gym, on the field, in the pool, and on the crag. Now, they're head to head to head for the first time. Guts All-Stars. Watch as the extreme competition takes over Snick tonight at 8, 7 central. If I had my way, I'd change my hair. <laughs> or to give a kid's meal the way I like it, with no pickles. Sure. Yeah. Now at Burger King, you can collect Save the Animal cards. You can save mammals, fish, birds, and reptiles and amphibians. There's 17 cards in four albums, one with every kid's meal. You can save them in albums. <laughs> or trade them with friends. You're right, right, right at Burger King. Creepy crawlers! They're squirmy and wormy and purple and green. The grossest little creatures that you've ever seen. Creepy crawlers! Fill the monster mold with the colored plastic goop and make a creepy crawler from a yucky monster soup. They're yucky, 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 squirmy, wormy, very scary, sometimes hairy, squiggly, wiggly, creepy crawling. Creepy crawlers! Gross out your sister, embarrass your dad. You can be a little creep without being bad. Creepy crawlers workshop with plastic goop. Yesterday, my city was attacked by Spamians from another galaxy. They weren't very nice aliens, which made me and Walt mad, so they were messing up the place. We prepared our newbie case for battle and went out to tell them to get the heck out of Dodge. They nearly jumped out of their purple skins when they saw us. Spamians scattered everywhere, but our BK diamond cells made us way speedier. We chased them back to their spaceships, and those Spamians retreated like the spineless slime they are. The new BK is at Foot Locker.
Why must we take this box to your school tonight? The science fair is tomorrow. My project's in here. A shortwave radio. I'd feel like a nerd if I had to carry it on the bus. Stop the cheering! What is it, Armand? What do you see? It is a new Beefy Burger. Thank you for coming to Beefy Burger. Drive around to the first window, please. This is embarrassing, Scarab. My spies have seen the mummies at places such as this. How long are we gonna wait for them? Hmm? Now that's what I call service. The burgers here are flame broiled. Attack now, my shanties. Not so fast, mummies. My science project! Good shot, my prince. How'd I do that? Good fight. But once again, Scarab got away. Is anybody else hungry? What am I gonna do about my science project? Oh, no, don't worry, my prince. I'll repair your shortwave radio. Come back in the morning, and it will be as short as new. What did you do to my project? Where's the antenna? The obelisk is much more powerful. Can it pick up signals from the other side of the world? Ah, with this, you could even pick up signals from beyond the Western Gate. It could pull in signals from Mars and Mr. Huxley would probably still give me a C. This doesn't look like a shortwave radio to me. Does it work? Of course it works! You were supposed to make it yourself. Uh, I'd better check my notes. They're in my locker. There's something strange about that boy. Oh, I see the problem. He uh, forgot to plug it in. I should have looked at Raph's notes before I set it up.
attached an exposed wire. He's gone. I've taken his place. You mean, like a substitute teacher? Substitute teacher? Sure. I am Chantra. Uh, nice to meet you, Miss Chantra. What is this? That's my science project. Hmm. I recognize this handiwork. Only Wrath could have made this obelisk. He must still be alive. I wouldn't exactly say alive. Oops, uh, I mean... Uh, actually, no, uh, I don't know anybody named Rath. Why would I? Look into my <gasps> eyes and speak the truth. Rath is my tutor and my guardian because the spirit of Rapses was reborn in me. Rath is no longer your tutor, Rapses. From now on, you belong to me. to be an explanation for what's happened to me. After all, there's an explanation for everything. You're new here, aren't you? I must be dreaming. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm dreaming. I'll just wake myself up. Wake up! be coming here for my lessons anymore. I'm going, I'm going to be studying, studying under a new teacher at my school. Who is going to teach you a jitsu? You have to learn from an expert. Are you angry, Prince? Because your science project didn't work? It isn't that I'm turning against you. It's just that I have to move on. There's no more that you can teach me. I have to go home now. My new teacher's coming over. We cannot let him just leave like that. He needs us. We are his guardians. And he is the Pharaoh now. We can't defy his commands. Perhaps Prince Rapses is right. Perhaps he needs a teacher from his own world. What do you think, Raph? Hmm. What he said... It... It reminds me of something from long ago. It was when the Pharaoh called me to the palace to become Rapsi's tutor. It isn't that I'm turning against you, it's, it's just that it's time for you to move on. There's no more I can teach you. You told me I'm the best student you ever had. Maybe even more than that. Prince Rapsi's is my student now. Will Pharaoh's son ever learn to do this? Hear me, O oh serpents of the underworld. Stop showing off, Chantra! I must obey Pharaoh's command, even if my heart commands me to stay. You'll pay for this, Wrath. Someday you'll pay. No. It couldn't be. It couldn't be her. You're the best teacher I ever had, Miss Chantra. Mr. Huxley never used to come over and help me with my homework. Hmm. Where is Mr. Huxley, anyway? <laughs> it's almost like you're learning science along with him. Where can I learn more? I must know more. Didn't you study science in college? Can I talk to you for a minute, Ms. Chantra? Alone? Presley's never been so interested in science before. I think he has a crush on you. I don't understand, crush. I think I will take Presley with me to this place you mentioned, this college. I don't think so. Not until he stops acting like a lovesick puppy. Yeah, I can't help it. I have that effect on people. Look into my eyes. 
You really shouldn't wear so much mascara. I don't need your beauty secrets. I don't know about you, but I'm bored. This place is really dead without Rapsies. <sighs> Truly, a teacher is lost without a student. I think I'll go see what he's up to. Wait, Nefertina. We must only go to the house of Rapsies when he needs us. If a bird flies too often to the nest, the hungry cat may follow. Maybe we could call him and ask him to come over. Hey, it works with pizza. I need the round piece of metal with the face of the great pharaoh, George Washington. I have one. Great is the power of George Washington! Uh, pizza by the pound. Is this pickup or delivery? There's nobody named Presley here. You have to dial Rapsy's number. There is more than one number? Oh, here. Let me do it. How are we gonna get to Berkeley? Take my hand, Rapsies. I'll show you something Rath never taught you. <laughs> Hello? Presley isn't here. He went to the Berkeley Library with his new teacher, Ms. Chantra. Chantra? <laughs> ah! Presley's in grave danger! pieces of metal. <laughs> Great is the power of George Washington! What does Chantra want, Rath? Revenge against me, and she'll destroy Rapsies to get it. Knowledge is power, Rapsies. That is why Rath was afraid to teach me. But now, I'll have my revenge. Not yet, Chantra. Ra! Hmm? I've come to take you home, Rapsies. Tell him, Rapsies. Chantra is my teacher now, but Rath... Rath is my friend. He's breaking free from your spell, Chantra. Then I'll cast another. Look into my eyes. Look into your own eyes! Ah! I know your tricks, Chantra. I was going to destroy you eventually. I might as well do it now. Why did Rath want to face this Chantra alone? They have a personal score to settle. <laughs> Looks like she scored first. What happened, Raph? Just doing some light reading. Ugh. Get away from him, or I'll destroy you, too. With, With the strength of Raph!
Sancha. A sword can strike both ways. <laughs> My magic is stronger than your weapons. You can't hurt me. You were afraid to teach me. She's too strong for you, Ram. Sorry. Stay away from him, Rapsies. I'll be your student, Chantra, but only if you let Wrath go. This was never about you. Wrath used you once to get rid of me. Now I'm using you to get rid of him. Wrath was afraid to teach me because he knew my power would become greater than his. You're right, Chantra. I was afraid. I was afraid that I was falling in love with you. Of course. I wanted you to. While you taught me magic, I cast a spell over you. You had the strength to break free then, but my magic is stronger now. Oh, hear me, oh serpents that guard the underworld. <laughs> You're pathetic, Raph. There are no mystic serpents anymore. That was 3,000 years ago. A different world. Not serpents, Chandra, but underground power cables. You haven't learned everything about this modern world. Wake up, Huxley. Wake up, Huxley. Oh, knock it off. Where, where am I? Hey, there's my old college dorm. How did I get here? Presley's science project must have given me quite a shock. Uh, that's it. The shock gave me amnesia. Yes, amnesia. You know, it's funny. Even though I know Chantra was evil, I keep thinking about how beautiful she was. <sighs> so do I, my prince. So do I. Bye, 
has the money. Protection for the Pharaoh team. He has the money. They're hanging by the western gate. He has the money. They're gonna save the world today. The Egyptian way. The one is alive. Cookie jar! <laughs> How I love those sweet little puffs of wheat. <laughs> a mirror? Hmm. I'll shine some light on this mystery. <gasps> there they are! Hey, what the. Yeah! Gadget, gadget, gadget. Oh my. And I want a snack to be part of my complete breakfast. <laughs> oh, kitty, look behind you. <laughs> yeah! 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 Much bigger. You think Bigfoot's big? Little Caesar's Big Big Cheese is bigger! Two big pan pizzas with more cheese, more pepperoni, 24 slices, or get a family-sized bucket of spaghetti with meat sauce. So now it's the Big Big Bucket or the Big Big Cheese with free crazy bread for eight eighty eight dollars at Little Caesar's. Pizza, pizza. O sabor que detona. Try reach down with his mighty head. Come inside the pages ah! of the Ultra Force comic book. Ah! Where Prime and its Ultra Heroes battle on against Enemy and his evil forces. It's Prime time, Enemy. Fire! Sorry, Prime. Evil rules. Get him! Yeah, Prime's getting pounded. Not for long. Cool and Nightmare will nuke you. Cool. New Ultra Force action figures each sold separately. New from Galoo. I'm Brian Panade, and these are the news. Day four of the Mad Nanny crisis. Officials have identified the so-called Mad Nanny as 54-year-old Miriam Brunch, an employee of the highly regarded Miss Muffet Babysitting Agency. The city continues to be terrorized by this rampaging domestic, who only moments ago destroyed Earl McBain's old-time toy and memorabilia shop. Mr. McBain was heard to ask, quote, what kind of nanny would do this, unquote. Miriam, I know there's a sensitive child care professional in there somewhere! Any sign of her, Arthur? No, not from here, Tick. That nefarious nanny has managed to elude us so far. But she's as good as in our heroic grasp. Because look what came in the mail today! It's the Fiend Finder tracking device, Arthur! I ordered it from the back of Leotard Legends Monthly. Oh, I told you before, Tick. Those things are a complete waste of- Quiet, chum. I'm trying to locate the proper frequency. Uh, Tick, I, I think you have to stick this thing on here first. Like this. Wait a minute. You're saying we have to find the fiend before we can use the fiend finder? What a ripoff! 
pick. There she is. Heavens, Arthur. She's headed for the diner. Come on. Mad Nanny, if you harm a hair on this greasy spoon's head, you'll have the tick to answer to. You can't do that to the tick. Oh, I. <laughs> Lady, you just toasted the best BLT joint in the tri-state area. Prepare to pick up the tab. Unhand me, tractor woman! You're in a lot of trouble, lady. <laughs> Dick! Uh... Check, please. Ah, oh, what happened? Help! Somebody help! The Tick's been kidnapped! I want out! Hide. Hey! Oh, oh, this stuff really is tougher than leather. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. So, at last, the tick. My arch enemy sits helpless before me. Arch enemy? You must be joking, Charles. I mean, I don't like you and everything, but if I ever do have an arch enemy, it's not gonna be some creepy little brat with a glass head. Mm, yes, well, when I get done with you, you'll know what creepy is. And then she just turned into a rocket and blasted off with him. Ooh, bad luck. <laughs> well, I wish I could help, but I've got an appointment with my- Cancel it. Definitely should go get him. Yeah, definitely. Of course, don't know where to look. Very bad. Well, maybe we do. Anyone got any AA batteries? Charles, Charles, I thought we worked all this out. Weren't you supposed to outgrow your evil ways? Ha! <laughs> Look, if you let me go right now, I might consider not telling your parents. They're not here, Tick. It's just you and me. They think I'm a bad influence. <laughs> so as soon as they left, I turned my babysitter into a mindless cyborg engine of terror. You know, Charles, sometimes when I'm feeling like a raving ding-dong, I find a nice chamomile tea. Shut up! You know why I turned her into a cyborg engine of terror, do you? Uh, was it a pathetic cry for help? <laughs> Wrong! I did it so I could lure you into my clutches, so I could wreak my vengeance for the humiliation I suffered at your hands. They made me take dancing lessons. You brought that on yourself, little mister! Any last words? Charles, I suggest you give up this foolishness before it goes down on your permanent record! You know, you're almost as stupid as you look. What the... How does it feel to be reduced to the size of my dad's third place bowling trophy? Oh, a shrinking ray. Never seen that before. Oh, yeah? Well, have you seen this one? <laughs> Of course, the mouse mobile comes loaded with options. Electric windows, 8-track, and cassette. 
Now, we want to stay on a south by southeast heading. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and this button over here inflates the pontoons. Doesn't this thing go any faster? I've made better time in funeral processions. Faster? Strap in, sweetie. This mouse is about to roar. Hmm. Let's see. What should I do next? Return us to normal and let us go? Yeah, yeah! Interesting idea. But no! Normal? Ha! Whoever got anywhere by being normal, he should be thanking me for what I'm about to do. <laughs> Nice touch. I think you've made your point. Not quite, Tick. <laughs> now you're a tiny two-headed bluebird who can only speak high school French. <laughs> Je m'appelle le Tick. J'ai une grande plume et deux têtes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This should only take a minute. Pardon us if we don't wait. Stop that car! There you go. That'll be your special place from now on. And if you're very good, I might even feed you. Oh, hey, la tour Eiffel! You make me laugh. I bet a lot of people would like a little pet bird like you. Hey, meet your new neighbors. This used to be my gym class, but I turned them into earwigs. That one's Coach Fussel. Climb the rope! Climb the rope! Je ne vais pas te bien. Ah, a baby. Hello. Salut. Comment vas-tu? Ça va bien? What? No, I don't understand. Speak up. Yes, that's the address. What? Listen, it's cash only, okay? Bidding starts at 8. Bye! Yes? Mr. Chippendale? Hi. You don't know me, but I have something I think you'll be interested in. I've got a fix on him. He's nearby. Okay, citizen. Let us off. Something suspicious about those guys. What are you talking about? They were cool. They laughed at all my jokes. Come on, guys. The signal seems to be coming from this way. Chairface, Chippendale, and Chrome Dome. Oh, very bad, very bad. And look, the idea men. Where do they keep getting those blimps? Wait a second. I recognize that house. Come on! Marvelous. What sadism. Yeah, well, I don't know. When I was your age, kid, we didn't have all this high-tech hocus-pocus. <laughs> See, if you were really evil, you'd just walk up to a guy and smack him in the head. <clears throat> Uh, hello? <laughs> Gentlemen? <laughs> Gentlemen? <laughs> Gentlemen! I just want to say that there's not one of you who I didn't idolize in my infancy. But now I have surpassed you all by achieving what none of you could. Gentlemen, I give you the tick. That's not the tick, you <laughs> imp. <laughs> Yeah, the tick's not a bird. He's a, what do you call a man, right? I, I think so. Je ne suis pas un animal. Je suis un homme. He certainly doesn't speak French. I'm blowing this clam bake. Hey, 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 oh, so you don't believe me, huh? Okay, everyone. Watch the birdie! You'll never get away with... Jacques! <laughs> the bidding begins in five minutes. 
<laughs> ah, my chance at last. I've always wanted to own the tick. Not so fast, Chairface. <laughs> Unless you think you can compete with the national treasury of Pocahontasia. Wow. That must be the greatest agglomeration of evil ever assembled. And that little brat's going to sell the tick to the highest bidder. We've got to get in there and stop him. I wonder how much the tick is worth in the open market. Field mouse. Definitely need a plan. Yeah, of course, definitely planless. Hmm. It just might work. What do you think? Ooh, I'm terrified. I can't believe you expect us to pass ourselves off as supervillains. I mean, I, of course, am a master of disguise, but he, on the other hand, looks like a dink. Ah, what's going on? Somebody got a bucket on my head. It's our only chance, Deflator Mouse. You two have got to get in there and stall them for as long as you can. You got it? Yeah, of course, no problem. <sighs> Just let me do the talking. Who are you? I am the Rake, and this is, uh, Buckethead. Ah, oh, Buckethead. Oh, yeah, that's me. I never heard of you. Oh, well, we're from Ohio. Welp, okay, as long as you brought your wallets. Buckethead, Buckethead. Yeah, I knew a socket head once, back in Muncie. Any relation? Oh, no, definitely not. We're all buckets. Definitely buckets in my family. Ahem. <clears throat> now. Who will begin the bidding? I bid $16. Gentlemen, please. We're talking about the Tick, the city's premier superhero. It's not like I'm trying to unload the Flater Mouse here. Yeah, unload the Flater Mouse. Yeah, very funny. $17. No, no, we can't just rescue the Tick. We need to get that device to change him back. Good point. So I'll sneak in, hook the line to the device, and you'll fly it out with the blimp. That's your plan? Yeah. Then, in the commotion, you grab the tick. One million dollars. One point five. One point nine million dollars. Two million dollars. And 24 cents. Two million and... <coughs> 25 cents. 26 cents. 27. 28 cents. 29 cents. Two million dollars and four dollars. <gasps> oh, uh, good. Oh, bad. Three million four. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of pineapples. Oh, gotta know when to fold them. Too rich for my blood. Uh, ten million dollars and four dollars. Sold to the man with a rake on his head. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Whoa! Arthur! Sorry. Sorry. Okay, here's the four dollars, and I have to give you the rest on an IOU. What? You don't have it? Oh, no, I see something. Oh, uh, dead meat! Oh, gosh. Is finished, vicious little dweeb. I don't think so. You remember Skippy, 
Well, guess what? I had him fixed! <laughs> I wonder if Charles missed this at all. Oh, great. My parents. Yeah, I I fucking got it. Charles? I believe your boy has a lot of explaining to do. Indeed he does. Now I know what all those notes from school have been about. You're not really misunderstood at all, are you, Charles? Well, no. I'm sorry, Mom, but I'm gonna have to deliver this monster to the proper authorities. And not for dancing lessons. the worst babysitting job I've ever had. I'm sorry for all your trouble, ma'am. Now, uh, what do we owe you? Well, evil has been rousted and the babysitter's been paid. Come, heroes. Our work here is done. You know, even though today was the worst day of my life, I learned many things. First, the world looks a lot different when you're six inches tall and covered with feathers. Second, Two heads are definitely not better than one. And finally, you can lay an egg and still feel like a man. Oh no, my baby! <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> chocolate. Anybody want some? Oh, yeah, no, don't be disgusting. Oh,